Hamilton Watch Company is a Swiss watch brand based in Bien, Switzerland. Hamilton has its roots as a great American watch design and manufacturer, which incorporated in 1892 and produced its first watch in 1893. A little fan fact about Hamilton. By 1893, it only had one salesman employed. This expanded greatly as the time passed by. Right now, Hamilton is part of the Swiss watch conglomerate, the Swatch Group. Together with Tissot, Longines, Omega to name a few. And is marketed as an entry-level luxury Swiss watch in their pyramid. Back in the day, there was no standard set for railroad transportation timekeeping. And accidents due to minor differences between the conductor's packet watches were all common. Hamilton's 926 packet watch had a size 18 movement, meaning it was 3 5 inch in diameter and has 17 jewels. This allowed the conductors for premier accuracy. This in turn paid well for their product's reliability. And Hamilton rightfully claimed that 56% of the railroad community was using their product to safely get the public where they needed to be on time. In 1912, Hamilton released the railroad packet watch to further exploit its tie to the America's largest transportation system. If you want watches that appeared on screen, Hamilton is the right watch brand for you. The 1950s was considered the hallmark decade for Hamilton. In 1957, a breakthrough came for Hamilton in the form of Ventura, the world's first electric watch powered by a battery. A product of over 10 years worth of research and development. The Ventura watch was first featured on the musical comedy film Blue Hawaii. Mr. Elvis Presley can be spotted wearing one of these asymmetrical watch in the film. The Ventura watch also played a starring role in every Men in Black movie. An essential part of the iconic uniform of the space agents. This made Ventura one of the most popular watches of Hamilton. Hamilton also designed another futuristic timepiece for the crew of Stanley Kubrick's famous film, The 2001 A Space Odyssey. And in 2020, another cool looking futuristic watch was featured in the sci fi film, The Tenet. Tenet is a mind blowing movie that involves a secret agent that embarks on a dangerous time bending mission to prevent the start of the World War III. Apparently, this Below Zero watch also appeared in another sci-fi movie called The Martian, starring Mr. Matt Damon. It is a survival story of a stranded member of a team of astronauts in planet Mars, presumed dead after a fierce storm. Hamilton watches also played a starring role on the race of Miss Sandra Bullock in the movie Ocean's 8. Miss Jessica Chastain and Mr. Matthew McConaughey in the movie The Interstellar and Mr. Robert Downey Jr. as well as Mr. Chris Evans in the movie The Avengers. Who doesn't know about the movie Interstellar? The sci-fi movie that revolved the story of an ex-NASA pilot named Cooper to join in the spacecraft mission along with a team of researchers to find a new planet suited for humans. Since Earth in the future is becoming inhabitable. One of the scenes that I remembered well, sorry for the spoilers if you haven't watched the movie yet. It was when young Murph begged for her father Cooper to stay and not go and be part of the mission to find a new planet for humans. Before Cooper left, he gave Murph one of his Hamilton watch and if the mission was successful and returned back, they would compare the difference in time. I might say that it is one of the saddest parts in the entire film. Going back to that scene, Cooper was wearing a Hamilton khaki pilot day date and the one he gave to his daughter is the now known the Murph watch. The Murph watch comes in a 42mm case size with a black dial and light paint Arabic numerals that have applied with loom. The glass is made from dome sapphire crystal 
However, I am quite disappointed that Hamilton didn't bless the MERV watch with an anti-reflecting coat. It has a case thickness of about 11mm, which is pretty decent. The lag width of the watch is measured at 22mm and a water resistance of 100m. The movement dating inside is a caliber H10, a modified ETA28242 with 80 hours power reserve. This movement is the same as the Powermatic 80 movement of TISO and Rado C07. The stack strap given is a black leather with standard pin buckle, which I find stiff when you wear it on the wrist. The price for this watch at the time of release is at 995 US dollars. This watch comes along with a special presentation box for a limited batch of 2,555, designed by Interstellar award-winning production designer Nathan Crowley. The box and its stripe design recalled the Tesseract Cube, where Cooper discovered that he can communicate with Murph through space and time. One special feature of the watch is the Morse code written under the second's hand, a representation for the scene where Cooper sends a message using Morse code through the second's hands of Murph's watch. The message delivered is the quantum data that will help the humanity escape dying Earth. When Murph works out the formula, she shouts Eureka to mark her discovery, meaning I found it. A cool feature nod for this movie collector's watch piece. Final thoughts. I really love how neat the design was for the Murph watch, but I really do wear big on the wrist, maybe because of the long and wide lugs or the proportion it made with the case. I am quite disappointed that the glass doesn't have the AR coating. And given with the price point, I hope that Hamilton got it. The beige applied loom gives the watch a vintage look. But I think the rabbit numerals will suit if they applied it with a white loom as well as the hands. Overall, it's a great watch. Thanks for watching another content here on Time Check Channel.